the gazelle punch in three simple steps. First, from our fighting stance, we are going to use our powerful hind legs to turn your hips and step forward with your front foot. You are turning your shoulders into a more bladed stance, stepping forward and pivoting slightly on the back toe. Next, we are going to repeat the same motion, but we're going to burst forth just a little bit, springing off of that powerful back foot, turning our hips and going straight forward while twisting. The third and final step is just adding on the lead hook or whatever lead hand punch you choose to throw. Now it does not change anything we do with our hind legs. We're going to turn our hips, push off the ground, turn in the air as we throw that hook and shift our weight across our body. What we do not want to do is naturally go to our lead side as we throw the hook. This can produce submaximal power and can also put us in danger of our opponent's deadly right hand. By bursting forward, we make sure we get superlative power and we get to the target in as little time as possible. We can certainly go to the left as need be to protect ourselves, but that should not be the default. Practice these movements at home and you will develop an amazing superlative gazelle punch.